Now, rainbow facts is another way of referring to them, and that simply sums to 10. So it's pairs of numbers, which when you add them together, you get 10. So if we write the numbers out from 0 to 10 in a line horizontally, and then join together the pairs of numbers which add together to make 10, whose sum is 10, we can see that we get this nice rainbow sort of effect. 5 is on its own in the middle, of course, because of uh, double 5. So that's the idea behind the rainbow, and this is something that you could display in the classroom uh, to help the students learn the facts. Now I should point out again, a bit like the, the uh, doubles facts that I looked at recently, the rainbow facts don't actually have a cognitive strategy. There isn't a way of thinking about these and go, okay, if I do this and manipulate that, I'll work out the rainbow fact. It's more a set of facts that are really useful, that have you know, a neat pattern to them, and so we want the students to become familiar with this group of number facts. So the poster may be helpful if you wanted to make a poster like this in your classroom. Another couple of strategies you could use, one is to simply write out the pairs of facts like this for the students and obviously ask them to work out what the answers are and so on, and they'll come back and say, oh look, they're all the same and we'll keep on going here. Another thing the students may notice, and I'll probably ask them what else can you see, is that the pairs are repeated in reverse order. So we have 4 and 6 and 6 and 4, we have 3 and 7 and 7 and 3. And of course that's the general principle of uh, reversing uh, addition number facts. Okay, so we can help the students with that. In fact, if you think about it, even if we include 0 plus 10, if I squeeze that in there, there are only six different number facts. So we're not talking about a large number of facts for the students to commit to memory. Now we can use the 10 frames for this because the 10 frame already has 10 spaces and the students are used to that. We could ask them to do a set of um, exercises where we say fill the 10 frame with two different colors and then write down a number sentence for the addition of the color. So here a child could say well I've got three blue ones and seven yellow ones and that makes 10. And so students could do a whole set of those and that would help them to uh, learn these number facts again. The other thing to say about these facts is although they're, you know, a sort of somewhat interesting pattern, their real usefulness comes into handling money. Because when we go shopping or if uh, our students end up working in a shop and we have to work out change, the change is almost always taken away from a number of tens, um, either in coins or notes, or a hundred. So for example, a hundred take away forty is a number fact that we can learn from this set of rainbow facts. So they're very, very powerful, very useful. We use them all the time in all sorts of mathematics as well as everyday life. Okay, that's it for this week. Hope you've enjoyed it and I'll talk to you next time.